India's Defence Export Promotion Council will be ready by next month, in which half a dozen leading defence players such as Larsen and Tubrota to Advanced Systems and Bharat Forge will become founding members of Executive Committee. The Ministry of Defence has signed a 642 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for 28 advanced electro-optical fire control system. The Indian Navy has selected new space research and technologies to develop its naval collaborative combat air vehicle that will operate collaboratively with the MiG-29K and Rafale Marine fighter jets. The Russian Su-57 was spotted alongside American F-35 Lightning II at the Aero India 2025, marking the first time of the two rival fifth-generation fighter jets appearing together at an air show. Hindustan Aeronautics will showcase the prototype of the RUAV-200 high-altitude logistics drone at the Aero India. Maruti Suzuki India has handed over 60 units of its Jimny SUV to the Indo-Tibetan border police. The DRDO has showcased the 300 km naval anti-ship missile medium-range, rampage air-launched rocket system, and Belarusian ADS Talisman electronic warfare pod on Navy's MiG-29K for the first time at Aero India 2025. The first image of Archer NG armed drone has emerged from Aero India, which shows it carrying out low-speed taxi trials. Hindustan Aeronautics has showcased both the Air Force and Army variant of the light utility helicopter at the Aero India. Brahmo's Aerospace's new Lucknow plant is gearing up to start operations, that has an anticipated production rate of 100 missiles annually. The armies of India and Egypt are gearing up for exercise Cyclone 3 on Indian soil, enhancing joint special operations capabilities in deserts. Two American F-35 stealth fighters have landed at Bangalore's Yalahanka Air Base of the Indian Air Force, and taxied past the Russian Su-57 fifth-generation fighter. While originally both the Su-57 and the F-35 were supposed to carry out aerial demonstrations during the five-day event, the F-35 fighter will only be for static display, as the US had a shortage of stunt pilots for the aero show. Russian officials have said that Russia has offered co-production of Su-57E variant with AL-51 Stage 2 engines, along with assistance to develop India's 5.5 generation AMCA stealth fighter jet. However, the US side has remained quiet on the F-35, but things can change during the upcoming meeting between US President Donald Trump and Prime Minister Modi in Washington next week. In a major development, Russia has proposed the sale of its advanced R-37M long-range air-to-air guided missile to India, and interestingly, this proposal includes the unique opportunity for local production. The R-37M boasts a maximum range of 400 km, making it one of the longest-reaching air-to-air missiles in service globally. Its speed can reach hypersonic levels of up to Mach 6, which is crucial for intercepting fast-moving targets even in challenging scenarios. The Indian Navy has selected new space research and technologies to develop its Abhiman U Naval Collaborative Combat Air Vehicle, that will operate collaboratively with the Navy's MiG-29K and future Rafale Marine fighter jet. The contract includes a minimum purchase quantity for a specified number of systems, that the Indian Navy has committed to procure once the platform is ready. The Abhimanyu drones will use artificial intelligence-driven evasive maneuvers to bait enemy aircraft into disadvantageous positions, and will carry Astra air-to-air -air missiles, allowing the manned fighter jets to engage multiple targets without exhausting their onboard weapons. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.